but this one I just wanted to talk a bit about what do you do if you're a student and you get approached to engage male or female in a sexual relationship with your teacher and um, and the first thing I wanted to say to you was uh, as a student you are supposed to be at a certain level of realisation before you engage in this kind of stuff so the first question is are you at that level if the answer is no then you are perfectly entitled to hang off for a bit and get to the level you need to be at um, and the second thing is your intuition if your whole body is boking at the idea uh, and it's just like this isn't right there's something weird cd like, you know this is not thought through if your body's doing anything like that your mind then the answer is just no i'm not ready yet uh because you know as students our job is to come from where we are now to be honest if we're I mean, I know a lot of Buddhism is about imagining what you can become. I imagine I become a Buddha. I imagine that I have these qualities and you do a lot of uh, visualizations and all of these things. And this is very valid. And then, you know, but the point of that visualization surely is to incrementally have your reality changing every time you visualize that you become a stronger, more compassionate person. Then maybe that will slowly start manifesting in your daily life and gradually you will become uh, you know, an enlightened Buddha for some people faster than others. The benefit of, of pretending uh, that you are ahead of what you are uh, is, is, there is none. There's no benefit of that. You are just, you don't, you're just putting yourself onto a island of sand that's been washed away by the sea. And soon you're just going to be drowning, it, surrounded by people who don't know who you are. Uh, and I can tell you that from personal experience. So as a student, to be a good student of Dharma, I really want to just say, I feel that you need to be honest about where you are now. And if you're selfish, if you're angry, it's not a crime, it's just where you're at and you can work with that. You don't have to jump straight into bed with someone you think could possibly be Buddha because you have no idea what Buddha is yet because you are not at the right level that's my opinion I might be wrong just be careful